There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better fish. There we go. Fish on. Yeah, he's pulling a little drag. There we go. Well, good morning, DCO Nation. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. If you're new to the channel, I'm with Deadcom Outdoors. And this morning, we're going to be fishing pretty much all of the outgoing tide. Um, I am looking to try to complete a slam today. So we're going to throw some gulp products, uh, some Z-Man shrimp, some Jelly Baits Assassin paddle tails, and uh, really see what we can pick up today. It's cold out. It's probably about 60 degrees right now. The sun's shining, there's not a cloud in the sky, so hopefully these bluebird skies won't won't put a damper on the fish this morning. So uh, guys, let's see what we can do. So here we go. So y'all, I actually was digging around yesterday in the tackle box and I found this pack of gulp. This is the six inch jerk shad and uh, it's in a new penny color and we're gonna tie this on today. I got a uh, quarter ounce trout eye and uh, since we are at high tide, um, gonna need that quarter ounce to get to the bottom. So we'll keep this close in case the pinfish really start to mess with this gulp and there we go we're going to tie it on just like that and there you go six inch jerk shad all right let's see what we can do here this morning there we go fish on guys there we go it feels like a flounder, the way he's shaking his head. Yep, nice flounder to start the day. He wants loose too. There, I got him. Nice flounder. Okay, cool. That's what we're looking for this morning. All right, look at what he's feeding on, guys. He has got a mullet sticking out. Look at that. He can't get enough of that. Let me see if I can get him in the sun. Woo! This guy is a feeding machine. Look at that. I don't think I've ever caught a flounder that's already feeding on mullet. All right, let's get him back in. There he goes. Cool. I mean, he's just down there just gorging himself, just trying to get as much food as he can inside him. That was really cool. He was right along this grass line here. Let's see if there's another one. There we go, fish on. I think he's swimming at me. Yep. Another nice flounder. Okay. He is, uh, he playing a little bit. He wants loose of that, doesn't he? He wants loose. Not until I scoop you up, my friend. All right. Well, the flounder are definitely chewing today. Man, and he is throwing up little pinfish. Wow, you guys. These flounder are just absolutely gorging themselves right now. He's probably only about 14, maybe 15. We'll throw him on the board just to check our eye. 14 three quarter. 
All right, not bad. Bad at all. Good. There he goes. <laughs> all right, that's two. Cool. We're going to spin around here and we are going to go check out another couple of creek mouths that I found on Google Maps that I want to go hit. As I'm looking at the Digcom Destroyer Kicking Critter here and uh, we're going to pop him. I can swim him either like a little paddle tail or I can pop him off the bottom like a small shrimp. And I think this is going to match the hatch a little bit better than anything else. This is a little bit more of a natural color of the shad that's all up in these creeks right now that is just being just blown up on. The kicking critter is still on the 1 6th ounce Ned head, but with the weight of the kicking critter plus the Ned head, we are probably working up towards, you know, 3 16ths of an ounce. There we go, fish on guys. Fish on, got him. That feels like a flounder the way he's shaking. Yep, it's flounder, very nice. He's not quite ready yet, but I wanna scoop him while he's still in the water or he may throw this. Good, look at that. Good. Okay, so that was a good choice of turning this into a dead calm destroyer. He's a little small, but he's in pretty good shape. Eh, he's bleeding a little bit, but it is just in his lip right there. So, not a big deal. He's gonna be okay. Ooh, and there he goes. All right, cool, guys. I don't know why he was bleeding so much. I got him in the lip. He was a little bit more in the center of the of this creek than anything else. So, okay, so that's three. That was a little bit of a, a drought there that I just got done <coughs> getting off of. So we'll see if there's any more. As you can see, I have got my kicking critter here, and I've got the hook lined with the fins to almost have it mimic either a bait fish, or if I hop it, it'll look like a little shrimp. So I'm getting really two for one out of this thing. So whether I want to swim it out of the grass or pop it off of the bottom, um, you know, these kicking critters or these creature baits are really, really good for inshore fishing. There we go. What do I got there? Somebody picked it up. Who picked it up? If I wasn't it, I think that's a, a red. It is a red fish. Ah, I got a nice red here, guys. All right. Awesome. All right, look at that little red fish. A nice one. Look, he wanted that thing. Awesome, right in the top of the mouth. Perfect hook set right out. Nice little 12, 13 inch red today. All right, cool. There it goes. I was like, if I didn't know any better, that felt like a red that picked that up. Nice, guys. All right, let's keep this going with the kicking critter. There we go. That's a red. The way he hit that, that's a red fish. There we go. Probably another small one. Nice. Another nice little red fish right here, guys.
Awesome. All right, are you about done? <laughs> I don't know if he's done yet. <laughs> he is still. There he goes. No, you're done, bud. You're good. There you go. He's a little bit better quality red. He's probably starting to push maybe 14. Let's throw him on the board real quick. I'm going to do him tail first, but... No, he's a... Uh... Oh, man, he is real close to 15. He's probably 14 and a... I'm going to say three quarters to 15. So, yeah, two nice reds. We may have gotten into just a little school. He's drumming a little bit. All right, let's try to get a nice release on him. There he goes. Cool, guys. Hey. Isn't that awesome? There we go. Man, he hit that one hard. That's another nice red. He's coming at me. He's swimming at me. He is pulling pretty good. There we go. Nice. He, uh... I barely have him hooked. Get in there. <laughs> he may not quite have been ready to get in the net, but he had to, because I almost lost him. All right, another nice red here. Again, probably pushing, probably pushing 15 inches. Just a nice little... Nice little creek red. Nice blue tail. Look at him. Isn't that beautiful? Nice red fish. All right. Woo! We're almost catching and ambushing these fish as they're coming out of these creeks. They are feeding very heavily on this shad. So we are going to keep creeping right up in here. There we go. Fish on, guys. Okay, that's another red. Another red fish, guys. Yeah, we we found a nice little school of fish. Here, guys. Nice red. Awesome. Really good day right here. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I know you're not ready yet. I know. Okay. Again, he's probably only about 14. Let's put him on here. 13 and a half for him. Nice red. Nice blue tail. Beauty. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better fish. You pull on a little drag. That's a little bit better fish right there, guys. No? He's probably about 15. Yeah. There he goes. He has a really blue tail. They're down there just eating on some shrimp. These things just don't have any give up in them.
Okay, there you go. Good job, bud. Wow, you guys. It's been a really, really long time since I have been on a bite like this. He's a little bit longer fish. Two spotter. Cool. Nice. There he goes. Let's keep it going. This is a hot, hot bite. It is crazy right now, but this is the kind of bite you can get in these creeks during the fall. You get up into the right creeks and you can just put a hurting on some of these. Fun. It's just exploring. It's just getting up and putting in the time and exploring. There we go, fish on. Yeah, he's pulling a little drag. There we go. Again, I'm gonna kinda just back out of this area a little bit so I don't spook him off too much. All right, another nice red here. Maybe even just a little bit better. You got me, you got me. <laughs> Alright, they're all about the same size, you know, but uh, how fun to get in a little school like this. They are just, as soon as this thing's hitting the water, they are just hitting it and slurping it down i'm casting as far as i can up there and staying away from them as much as i can all right so i got broke off unfortunately so i put on this 1 8 ounce trout eye and again stuck with the dead calm kick and critter on this the 1 8 is still right there with the one sixth ounce Ned head, and we're going to move back up in here. There we go. Fish on, guys. He's still there. Yeah, that's a better fish. There we go. Again, I'm just going to back out of here. There he goes. He's a little bit better fish. Isn't he? Yeah, he's a little bit better fish. Nice. Good, good, good. He is, he is not going to give up. <gasps> That's all right. You <laughs> He is not giving up. Where are you at? There you are. Roll over. You're caught, buddy. There you go. Nice. All right another solid redfish he'll be a slot fish we're gonna put him on the board i bet you he's 15. i bet you he's pushing 15. 15 right on the money guys almost touching 15 and a quarter good all right i'm gonna put him right back in good nice all right guys i think that's like five or six <clears throat> we're gonna cast up here 
maybe another two or three more times and then I think we're gonna back out of this creek leave these fish alone we've beaten them up enough I think there's a little bit of current coming off of this uh, little creek mouth right here There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Boy guys, it is hard to leave fish when you're when you're on them. This is so much fun. Just another creek red. This is gonna be my last one. I'm not gonna. <sighs> He's probably another 15. Nice. Ooh, splashing me. He, I tell you, pound for pound, a redfish, it's got to be one of the best fighters. Look at him. He has still got his head down. He is digging. Look at him. Unbelievable. Roll up, buddy. You're caught. <laughs> awesome fish. There we go. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Again, got him right in there. Nice fish. Right there. All right. Probably another 13, 14 inch little fish. Nice blue tail. Just a lot of fun. Let's get you right back in, bud. Good. All right. All right. Guys, I'm going to call it a day. It's hard to leave fish when you're basically catching them back to back to back. Um, I actually kind of lost track of how many redfish. That was a ton of fun. I mean, I think the biggest one was that 15 and a quarter, but they all measured anywhere between 13 and 15. But let's not forget about those four or so flounder that I also got. So guys, what a fantastic day. The fishing really started to pick up when the tide was about i'm gonna say about halfway out and that's when those reds really started to pick up it started to warm up a little bit and that's when they got aggressive feeding so guys i hope you enjoyed the episode i sure did um the best way to support the channel is to subscribe give the video a like and also leave a comment if you have any questions about what I did today or the equipment. I will link the promo codes and all the equipment in the description. And guys, I will see you back out on the water. Have a great day.